Chapter 5 Season 4 has been out for about a week now, and my reaction so far is that it's awesome. I've been having a lot of fun playing this season compared to the last couple of seasons. Even though fighting people on jetpacks while using auto turrets and missiles aged me rather quickly, so now I'm 68 years old in Fortnite years, I aged 3 years in a week. But either way, I'm loving it, so what I want to talk about today is what I love about the season so far. Specifically, we will talk about the map changes, the battle pass, the loot pool and gameplay, and just my overall overall feeling for the season so far so let's get started now when it comes to the map fortnite made some big changes in a positive way before we even talk about the locations i want to talk about the fact that on the north side of the map the grass looks so beautiful and vibrant it definitely gave me chapter 4 vibes when i first saw it and i really appreciate small details like that because i felt a lot of this map specifically the grassy areas looked very dull compared to previous fortnite chapters the season 4 map added a few new locations like the rat which is based off the super maximum security prison for super powered villains or criminals in the Marvel comics. Now when you head toward the north side of the map, this is where you see most of the map changes. For starters, there are a couple of fun easter eggs, which is a dead Galactus sticking out of the water, and the Fantastic Four logo outside of Doomstat. And speaking of Doomstat, this is probably my favorite new location on the map. It gives me Misty Meadows vibes a little bit, but it's in the image of Doctor Doom's perfect society, with little easter eggs in the town like security cameras in the houses, posters telling them to pick up their garbage, and even his own ice cream. Another fun easter egg is in the basement of this house is a room dedicated to Iron Man, so it's clear not everybody in Doomstat is loving Doctor Doom's dictatorship. Classy Court's got a makeover this season and is now called Doom's Courtyard. The main building at this location didn't change much, but I am a little sad that the courts are gone. And the biggest map change is Doom's Castle. I love having a huge castle on the map and because of this new location a lot of the snow in this area has melted doom's castle is filled with easter eggs which includes trophies of the different marvel heroes and villains that he has eliminated overall all of these new locations are nice to look at have a good amount of loot it made this map way better in my opinion so this map gets an 8 out of 10 for me moving on to the battle pass i gotta say that i'm definitely not disappointed with this one i always get a little nervous when they release marvel skins because i'm a huge marvel comics fan and i always want the characters to be represented well in the game and fortnite once again did not let me down i don't know what it is about marvel skins but they rarely and i mean rarely miss this battle pass is full of bangers like war machine shuri and mysterio emma frost is a baddie and if you want to see my rankings on all of the skins you can go to my channel and watch that video after this one also the link will be in the description along with my battle pass reaction video as far as each skin in the battle pass i think they did a great job even with the remix skins like captain jonesy and Pilverine, they look great but I still wish they weren't in the pass. I wish we would have gotten these two instead. And I think the only other knock on this battle pass would be the gliders. Usually Fortnite puts out amazing gliders in the battle pass, but they failed to do that this time in my opinion. And it looks like Mysterio didn't even get one, unless it pops up in the quest rewards later on in the season. But that's okay because the iron spider glider makes up for it. But other than those small complaints, this is a great battle pass with great skins and great characters. I don't know if I think it's better than the first Marvel battle pass, but they're definitely neck and neck. I think I like the characters that were chosen for the first pass more, but I like the actual skins more than the previous, if that makes sense. But overall, this pass gets a 9.3 out of 10 for me. When it comes to the loot pool and gameplay in Chapter 5, it has been very hit and miss this chapter. We've had some broken items and mythics and some very mediocre weapons on top of bullet drop and movement changes. But I do feel that this season has a better loot pool compared to the previous seasons. The Striker AR return, along with the burst ar when i saw the burst ar i got so excited it's always been one of my favorite ars in the game we also got new weapons like the monarch pistol the sovereign shotgun and the dual smgs and i'm honestly a fan of all these new weapons i've enjoyed using them especially the dual smgs and the sovereign shotgun i love hip firing while sliding or on the jetpack so this is a perfect shotgun for me in my opinion even though i think the gatekeeper is still the best shotgun for the third season in a row the dual smgs are probably the most 
most fun weapon to use this season i love the animation of the reload and i love the fast fire rate on these bad boys and of course it wouldn't be a fortnite loophole without mythics and season themed items this season we have the jetpack war machines arsenal the auto turret and cap shield so far we will definitely be getting more marvel mythics throughout the season and out of the new mythics i love using the jetpack the most it's so much fun to boost with it around your enemies or spray with your weapons from above these mythics are a lot of fun when you have them but annoying when you die to them but i'd say that goes for a lot of fortnite mythics in general and as far as medallion goes i think mysterios is definitely useless it could have been really cool but doom siphon medallion and emma frost medallion where you're able to ping enemies closer to you i think are useful and are good medallions but this has probably been my favorite loot pool this chapter now just bring back hit scan because reload reminded me how much better hit scan is for fortnite but overall i give this loot pool an 8 out of 10 so far i think we're just missing some counters for some of the marvel mythics right now like a sniper or the dmr would have been perfect for this season i think this season is off to a good start and i really hope it stays that way over the next couple of months because we all know as a fortnite community we go through this cycle every season where we love it in the beginning then we get bored then we start to hate it then we get excited for the next season it's an endless cycle so hopefully fortnite keeps this season fresh and exciting and i'm really hoping for an awesome event at the end of the season but overall i'm having a great time and i'm definitely going to continue playing but if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and use code toonspider in the item shop to support me and have a great rest of your day peace